In this module, we will demonstrate inspection of the lower airways by flexible bronchoscopy. During this, we will point out key anatomic landmarks to keep you oriented within the airways, and we will illustrate normal airway anatomy to the segmental level. During the movie, note how the bronchoscopist abides by the rules of bronchoscopy. Keep the tip of the bronchoscope in the center of the airway. This reduces trauma to and irritation of the airways. Keeping the image in the center of the screen also helps those watching you to know where you are and to feel less dizzy. If you cannot see where you are going, advancing could lead to trauma. Try to clear the tip of the bronchoscope with gentle suction or by instilling 3 to 5 milliliters of saline through the suction channel. You can also try to wipe the tip of the bronchoscope on the wall of the trachea. If you still cannot see or do not know where you are in the airways, pull back until you reach a point that you recognize. This is usually the main carina. Avoid pulling back too far. You don't want to have to go through the cords again. Some providers measure the distance to the mid trachea on entry as a reference point. As a general rule, you should give a dose of lidocaine prior to entering the trachea and at any carina before advancing past it, as these areas are prone to causing cough. Then wait a few seconds before advancing for the lidocaine to take effect. Initial entry of the trachea often causes significant cough, so most bronchoscopists administer a dose of lidocaine into the trachea once they pass through the vocal cords. If cough is severe, the patient may need more topical anesthesia or more fentanyl or both. Try to keep the tip of the bronchoscope and therefore the image in the center of the airway at all times to avoid causing trauma. Orientation within the trachea can be determined by the characteristics of the tracheal walls. The anterior wall has cartilaginous rings which maintain its curved shape. The posterior wall is membranous with longitudinal striations and collapses with coughing. Lidocaine is administered at the main carina prior to advancing into the mainstem bronchi. The main carina should be sharp. The left mainstem typically branches off at a slightly more acute angle than the right mainstem. The right lung has three lobes, upper, middle, and lower. The left has only two, upper and lower. The bronchoscope is entering the left mainstem. The left upper lobe bronchus takes off anterolaterally. It divides into the lingula, which is medial, and the remaining left upper lobe segments, which are anterior and apico-posterior. When performing flexible bronchoscopy, a complete airway inspection involves observing all segmental bronchi to the level of the subsegmental carina. The lingula divides into inferior and superior segments. The left lower lobe superior segment bronchus takes off posteriorly just below the level of the left upper lobe bronchus. The soup segment can be difficult to enter. The left lower lobe bronchus then divides into anteromedial, lateral, and posterior segments, forming the mnemonic ALP when the bronchoscope is held in anterior-posterior orientation in the left lower lobe bronchus. After completing full inspection of one lung, return to the main carina to begin inspection of the other. The bronchoscope is entering the right mainstem. The distance from the main carina to the right upper lobe bronchus is shorter than from the main carina to the left upper lobe bronchus. The right upper lobe bronchus takes off anterolaterally. The right upper lobe trifurcates into three segments. It can be hard to see all of these at the same time. Here we clearly see the anterior and posterior segments. The apical segment is just visible. Now we have a better view of the apical segment. The bronchoscope returns to the right main stem and then continues into the bronchus intermedius, which runs from right upper lobe takeoff to right middle lobe takeoff. The right middle lobe takes off anteromedially. The superior segment of the right lower lobe takes off posteriorly at the level of the right middle lobe bronchus. The medial basal segment takes off medially. The right lower lobe bronchus continues caudally. The right middle lobe has two segments, medial and lateral. We then inspect the superior segment and then the medial basal segment. We are continuing our anatomy demonstration in a different patient 
where the inspection of the right medial basal segment has just been completed, and now we see how the right lower lobe bronchus then divides into the remaining basilar segmental bronchi, anterior, lateral, and posterior. Again, these are typically in a row when the bronchoscope is held in an anterior-posterior orientation within the right lower lobe bronchus, forming the familiar ALP mnemonic. These airways are inspected so that the subsegmental carina have been viewed and then the bronchoscopy is complete. There are a number of normal variations in the anatomy of the airways. You will become familiar with these as you practice. In this presentation, we have demonstrated the most common airway anatomy and illustrated the rules of bronchoscopy. Keep off the walls, never advance blindly. When lost, pull back until the point that you recognize. Use medications to reduce cough. Now for a quick anatomy reminder. The left lung has two lobes. The upper lobe divides into anterior, apico-posterior, and lingula. The lingula has inferior and superior segments. The left lower lobe divides into the superior, anteromedial, lateral, and posterior segments. The first segment we encounter during bronchoscopy is the superior segment. Beyond the superior segment, the anteromedial, lateral, and posterior segmental airways divide. The right lung has three lobes. The right upper lobe bronchus takes off laterally from the right main stem and has three segments, anterior, apical, and posterior. The middle lobe divides into medial and lateral segments. At the level of the right middle lobe bronchus, the superior segment and medial basal segments are visible. Below this, the right lower lobe bronchus divides into the remaining segmental bronchi, anterior, lateral, and posterior segments.